Welcome to TJ's podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are. Little Buddy Riggins. Good morning. TT and O, this, that, and other. That's what we're doing. Talking about TT and O, this, that, and other. Hmm. What is, is it Tuesday? It is That's Tuesday. all it is, is Tuesday? Yeah. I know. Man. Going out, uh, well, maybe. Going out for a big, um, well, it's not big, just a birthday dinner for my son. He's 21 today. And um, just be him and his mama and I going uh, to the to eat wings sure. at his favorite wing place. But I forgot that there's a thing that we're supposed to do tonight for the show. And it's either going to cause me to um, go to dinner at about three o'clock this afternoon for his birthday dinner or leave super like not even be able to eat while I'm at his birthday dinner and have to leave and get to my house to do the the show thing um not go at all which will go over like a fart in a diving helmet and I don't I don't want to miss his birthday dinner you know it's a big one it's a big yeah. one but uh, also, we haven't uh, oh, made any announcements about it, yeah, so you don't have to. Right. Or we are, you know, I've requested a, a, a bump back of a day. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. I don't picture Jody eating wings for some reason. Uh, she does. She does eat yeah. wings? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does she have a preference on flats or drums? No. She eats them both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't trust that. Like you should Somebody have who doesn't have a... I'm, I'm just saying she doesn't order one way or the other. She won't say, can I get all flats? Or, yeah. You know. I know you pay a premium for that, but... Yeah, flats are by far better than the drums. And it used to always be the other way around. People thought that, oh, can I get all drummies? Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah. I just I, And as a man, I have a hard time ordering things that sound that feminine. Drummies. Drummies. I would never know. No. Even if I liked that part of the wing better, I couldn't call it a drummy. No. But see, we never called them called uh, you know that part of the chicken a drumstick. Anyway, we always just called it a leg. People on TV and in movies called it a drumstick. The the chicken leg. The actual leg. Yeah, they called that a drumstick. But I didn't, I thought that was dumb. Yeah, it's legs. Because mm -hmm. it's a thigh, and it's a wing, and it's a breast. Actually, they should call it a calf. A chicken calf. Yeah. Because <laughs> the thigh is different. So if you were eating a human and you ate from the knee down, you'd be eating the calf and then you'd have the thigh yeah. as a separate piece. The leg should be the whole. Well, they do call them leg quarters, but it, that should just be the leg. Mm -hmm. The whole piece. Yeah. And then when you when you cut the the quarter in half, it should be a thigh and a calf. Yeah. Then you'd really confuse people with calves. <laughs> Like cow? No, no, no. It's chicken, but <laughs> it's like that uh, that night that we were at a mellow mushroom, I think, in Charlotte, North Carolina, and the waitress was just not just maybe a little burnt, um, yeah. you know. <laughs> and Ace was ordering a hamburger pizza, and she could not get that he was talking about. He wanted a pizza with beef on it. Yeah. Cause you, you want, wait, I'm sorry. Do you want a hamburger or pizza? I thought you wanted, and he, it was an Abbott and Costello routine for about 30 seconds. And neither of them were kind of picking up. Yeah. What so the finally I jumped down. in and said, he wants a beef pizza. He wants a pizza with beef topping. Yeah. Beef. Oh, hello. So you know, the, have the hamburger pizza. Yeah. Hamburger and a pizza. Is that, I'm sorry. <laughs> hamburger and a pizza. <laughs> Well, it is Mellow Mushroom. That's kind of the vibe. Yeah. A little. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mellow Mushroom, though. Yeah, it's really good. I like their pizza. It's pretty good. My parents just uh, stopped by the house on over the weekend sometime, and I was doing yard work, and they rolled up, and I said, what? And they were dropping off a rocking chair. I said, well, what are you guys doing up here? And they were like, well, we're going to go to Ollie's today. I went, 
Ollie's oh. like the ice cream shop. And they go, no, it's like a big lots. Mm -hmm. I went, yeah. where is that? And they were like, oh, it's up in Statesville. Or something. I was like, you're Mooresville. More, okay. Yeah. They you know where Walmart is? Yeah. You know, there's a shopping center. If you're looking at Walmart, it's to the right across from the movie theater. Yeah. It's in there. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I was like, they live in South Carolina. So they were going to drive, I don't know, at least probably around two hours to go to a Big Lots or a Ollie's, whatever it is. And I said, oh, and then what are you doing after that? And she goes, well, and then there's a there's a Village Inn Pizza in Statesville. Mm -hmm. I was like, so you're making a whole day out. <laughs> you're driving wow. across the state line to go eat at a pizza buffet and go to a Big Lots. Well, there may be a, um, a you know, a big impressive Ollie's in Statesville. Um, if, if they were saying we're going to eat a Village Inn pizza, uh, because there's one in Mooresville too, a Village Inn pizza, but the one in Statesville is a uh, freestanding, big, huge, oh, is it? you know, pretty new operation, all you could eat buffet. Yeah. We had one in Salisbury yeah. and we used to go there pretty regularly. It was good. It's a nice mm -hmm. salad bar, all you can eat pizza. And it's just that, man, you're driving two hours to go to a pizza buffet on a, <laughs> or it was Friday. It was Friday afternoon is what yeah. it was. It's retired. Ollie's. Life. But I I don't think Ollie's is on on par with Big Lots. Meaning it's nicer or not as nice? I don't think it has as much stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like, what do you need? But again, I've only been in the one, the smaller one here. I don't know if there's a bigger one somewhere else. I don't know. So we're going to go to Ollie's. We're going to go to Ollie's. And then, and then my dad was like ready to get the hell, because I was doing yard work and he was like all right get back at it he's like we're trying to get the hell out of here and i was like all right fine leave so how far is that to to go from where they live in south carolina to statesville north carolina I, i'm it's got to be around it's an hour to my house and it's you know probably another 40 minutes at least so. yes yeah, so it's probably close to two hours yeah and on a friday afternoon they ain't got nothing else to do they ain't got nothing else to do but yeah i mean it's a considerable drive <laughs> i can just see them though loading up on ollie stuff yeah i was like what yeah, your dad got a pair of socks that you know one's taller than the other yeah, yeah. It's like, what are you getting at a big lots come on <laughs> i don't know but you know uh statesville is the um is the county seat of, oh, is the, it? of this county yeah Mm-hmm. i've been through statesville a couple of times yeah i mean that's that's where the the government is yeah in there you went to Statesville on a small town adventures, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, we've been everywhere. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. Speaking of that, are you gonna when are you taking off for your small town adventures this weekend? Uh as soon as we're through with the show Friday. You're leaving right from here. Uh huh. Yeah. Is that four hours, five hours? Mm, I don't know. Five maybe. Not sure. Hey, I mean it is what it is. Gotta I mean, do it. I knew it. And do right. it, um, but and we get to hang out with my friend Mark. Yeah. Friday night with you know with no uh, responsibilities or anything, and then and then the work stuff kicks in the next day at two. Oh, okay. I did you hear me say what the um, what the scheduling was of the events yeah. Saturday? Is that going to mess you up? Because I mean that's going to be later than a normal small town adventures postings and stuff i what, think no i didn't hear what was the i don't think we're gonna be well we can be finished with posting and all that by you know in like nine be like two Please, to nine you guys send me stuff at like eleven thirty. but that's just for fun that's not to post is it oh well yeah i post it oh <laughs> well don't send me stuff if you don't i've always said that i'm like okay. you gotta because then your your friend jenny starts sending me stuff i'm like are, are they okay to post this stuff no, if I, it goes to me, it's getting posted. That yeah, should be well, sort of the rule of thumb. Okay. Unless it's specifically otherwise denoted. Yeah. Don't post this. Well, I mean, um, they don't send you stuff to post because I always say that that's confusing. So if they want, if they got some video that they made along the way of me that's funny or whatever, send it to me first and then I send it to you to post. Um, but. So usually if they're sending you stuff, it's just to make you laugh. Okay. Now I'm the, I'm the bid. I send the business stuff, yeah. but and sometimes if it's late, I'll send you things just for your amusement. Cause I figure you're in them beers too and yeah. all of that. But 
Now that you mentioned that, yeah, there have been some things posted late that I was like, ooh. Huh? Yeah, I've seen a couple of things. I thought, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. Yeah. But anyway, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. We've been wanting to go there for a while for a small town adventures. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever been to New Bern. Yeah, it's cool. I don't know that I have. Mm-hmm. But it's that downtown area and all that is a, a I mean, straight down the line Jody place. Yeah. You know, with the, with the nice bars and restaurants and, you know, cutlery and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's sponsored by Bojangles. You won't need, if you get fried chicken. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd rather just, you know, have them load me up on the way home. You know, hey, we, got, we know you need this uh, Cajun filet biscuit with cheese. Soak and up some the bow rounds. Absolutely. Mm, mm, mm. That sound good. When are you leaving on Sunday? Yeah, we'll come on Sunday. Yeah, that's a long drive back. Yeah. With a hangover. I won't be hanged over. No. I'm just saying in general. Yeah. Generally speaking. <laughs> Every time I've been to Greenville, I've left with a with a uh, hangover. Yeah. Eastern North Carolina. Those general. people really like the show. They yeah, always have been have been very nice to us I ever host, since we've been on the radio there. I hosted a, a college pool party one year, summer, like end of school year pool party at one of the apartment complexes. Out yeah. there. It was insane. It was insane. <laughs> and I was like just out of college at that time. I was like, oh, my God. And did you um, did you hook up with a lady? I didn't. I was. I mean, I, no. I ended up coming back that day. I didn't even drink, but oh, it was all real good looking people. Yeah, that's a that's a shame. Yeah, I only had a hotel for one night. Like I got out there the night before, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, I don't know anybody here. So I ended up going to a Hooters. Oh, because you stayed you stayed the, the night, before. night before because it started earlier right. in the day and you had to be there nine thirty ten a.m. They were like yeah. packed out at the pool, and then it was like an afternoon pool party. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, when it was over, I was like, oh, yeah. Or, like, in some of the, I thought yeah, there were some bros or I, something I, that said, hey, you should stay with us. We man. went, I went into uh, somebody's apartment uh, for, like, a quick game of beer pong, but that was it. It was not an invitation <laughs> to stay the night. Oh. Well, you should have just gone on and passed out on the bed. Yeah, just take like, I gotta stay here now. A dirty couch, <laughs> dirty college couch. That was crazy. Though. They were playing slap the bag. What's which, that? Um, where you take the bag of wine out of the box? Yeah, like a Franzia, and you just like you know you chug until you can't anymore, and then slap it. And I think is what the game was. They were playing slap the bag. But Does that get like, messy? Yeah, I mean you're drinking out of like a <laughs> a spigot or a spigot, whatever that yeah. is drinking right out of that just passing it around I'm like red wine it's 90 degrees out here and you're Ugh. drinking red wine oh amongst you know beer and i was like oh god these i can't do this and why take it out of the box i don't know i guess it's just easy so it's, it's more fun to slap a bag than a box yes that's crazy i'm gonna do that Please i'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, do that well um i think mark uh my friend mark has made reservations for us to eat dinner Friday night somewhere, and I'm going to play that at the restaurant. That's a great idea. <laughs> he always picks nice places too. So yeah, that'll be a real scene. Mm-hmm. I think he and I may have a little bit of a conflict, um, because I'm planning on wearing uh, at least at some point um, a long sleeve button up linen white linen shirt. Oh, you're stepping on. Him. And I'm, you know, he loves that. Sure. So I'm gonna be like. Well, one of us has to change, and one of us doesn't live here with a closet, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of us. <clears throat> That's how I picture him, though, in linen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he wears uh, French cuff shirts a lot, too. Yeah. He's you know, a good looking like, dude. Like Cam on Modern Family. That's what I was saying. You got a Cam shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. More coming up. Hang on. TJ's Podcast. We're here with Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies. And um, Richard, not just mortgages, not just home sales. Now you're helping people with home improvements. Yeah, that's right. So if you need to, if you want a backyard that you've always dreamed of, or you want, you need siding, windows, whatever you need, give us a call. Check it out. You've got the money in your home. Richard just helps you find it. 
finds the best way for you to do it. It's very simple. All you have to do is start by going to homewithrichard.com. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. They say there are only two things certain in life, sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at sweet dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Back to TJ's podcast. As my friend Ace would say, this is what the internet is for. He does say that a lot. This is what the internet is for. There's a young lady who um, went to the all-you-could-eat uh, boneless wings um, special that they have at the Golden Corral. Buffalo Wild. It was a Buffalo Wild wing? Yeah. Was there a different audio clip from Golden did Corral? I, did I send you the wrong one? One of them says, yeah, it says Golden Corral. Okay. Oh, maybe it was going. Oh, Rob mislabeled it. All right, Rob. Yeah, clock out. Yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings is doing this. Nineteen ninety nine. We just talked about it this yeah. week. They just launched it. Mondays and Wednesdays, all you can eat boneless wings and fries for nineteen ninety nine. Huh. So this young lady was going to go and um, break a record of the most boneless wings eaten in one sitting, and then the longest. I guess that you stay at the the Buffalo Wild Wings eating, uh, and this is what it sounded like. Oop. Uh, plug it in. Oh yeah, we gotta get a plug. Sorry, that's all right. There's all screwed up here. Here we go. And pay twenty dollars for all you can eat wings. My waitress said the record is twenty eight, but twenty eight is not a record. That is a light snack. I kept getting more refills. My gosh, girl, this is definitely a record with me. I'm gonna find out how endless these wings are. After seven hours, my waitress told me her shift is ending soon. Stay here. I can always just transfer. It's the longest anyone has stayed. You're you're <laughs> Said she could transfer me to a new waitress. There's no time limit, and you only have to pay one time. My waitress was about to leave, so I gave her a tip. This is for your tip. No, it's not. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you are so sweet. All right, Riggins, is she an influencer? Yeah, she makes. So she has a lot of money. Uh, she makes yeah money from these videos. Right. Okay. So that's why she's able to tip a lot. You know? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let me get you your refill. I got new wings and a new waitress. I kept eating until it was time for Buffalo Wild Wings to close. Yes. That's for your tip. Thank you. It's You're so welcome. Much. Oh my gosh. It's too much. I, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Can I have you? Mm -hmm. The previous record was 28, but I spent 12 hours of Buffalo Wild Wings endless chicken, and I ate 69 chicken wings. What an accomplishment. This was the happiest day of my life. Now that's what the internet is for. That's what the internet is for. And she's not fat. No. I know a lot of people that, that were sitting here assuming that she's uh, fat, but she's not. Uh, not even close. Eight hours. To being fat. Sitting in a booth at a restaurant. But a that's her job. So that's an eight-hour shift making videos. Right. <clears throat> the only way and, it ends poorly is that they're rude to the to her, yeah. and they tell her to leave, and then she still tips them 100 bucks. So yeah. the only negative outcome is that this restaurant looks like jerks for stopping you at an all-you-can-eat buffet. Mm -hmm. So you just pray that they're like, oh, God, let her stay, which <laughs> could have like weird consequences. What do you mean, like, if if because they let her stay and go through, then then somebody else could come in and go, you let her stay, and then somebody could get sick, yeah. eating too much? and Yeah, the idea is that now you should just be overly courteous to people that abuse your all-you-can-eat thing, but it is... All-you-can-eat all is, you know, yeah. what it says. I mean, I wouldn't go in there for 12 hours and eat until I couldn't move. Just in, in order to just say I ate as many as I could possibly eat because I have, you know, more social skills than that, I'm, yeah. you know, but all you can eat means all you can eat. Yeah. I've seen guy, a guy got kicked out of a fish and chip shop because it was all you can eat, like snapper or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. I forget. Fried fish. And, uh, yeah, they threw him out and he you know, posts up. I'm not going to post their location. I don't want you 
you know, blasting them on the internet, but they did kick me out. But all you can eat means all you can eat. If you don't want to do, you know, to have that occasional person come in and, and, you know, be the one that you don't make money from, then don't do an all you can eat thing. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta take the good with the bad on that. Stand by your all you can eat word. That's what you do. <laughs> yeah. And they said, uh, all you can eat wings and fries. But was she eating any fries? I bet I she wasn't eating no. any fries. The people that are really uh, co- veterans of that whole game, mm-hmm. they don't mess around with the the extras. Yeah, I don't know that I could eat. Like legitimately, uh, legitimately, all I can eat wings would probably, if I'm starving and the wings are really good, 20, 20 would be probably, the most. Yeah. And I, and I don't even know if I could make it to that. Because, you know, I'm so tiny. You're, so, you're about to blow away at mm-hmm. any minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think 20 to 30 is probably if I'm ravenous. You know, it's a trick in the restaurant industry um, that they have the really good bread, and they'll bring that, you know, and it's free bread or rolls or whatnot. And it's not because they're going to sell you more food after that. It's because a psychological thing. You eat all that bread, and then you order your entree, and then you eat, and then the bread hits your stomach, and you feel so full when you get ready to leave the restaurant. Then psychologically, it makes you think the food was delicious. Oh, my God, this is the best. Yeah, I am stuffed. That food was so delicious. I, could, I couldn't stop eating. Yeah. It was just, oh, I can't. I'm never eating again, though. Oh. <laughs> You're telling me it wasn't the kookaburra wings from Outback <laughs> that did that made you want to come back and again and again? But she was getting all different, looked like different yeah. types of boneless wings. Yeah, because you were asking the other day if it was like one flavor, mm-hmm. like the fiery Hellgates habanero, <laughs> that it's all you can eat. But yeah, I think you can get any flavor. Mm. But I'm not really messing around with a bunch of different flavors. I'm doing hot Maybe yeah, like a teriyaki like a, thrown a in there. Buffalo for hot. Yeah. Yeah, that's me too. My favorite uh, outside of regular spicy buffalo sauce is teriyaki. Mm-hmm. I might throw that, that one in there just to switch things up. Maybe um, every now and then get a, a few dry rub. Sure. Yeah. Because that would be so messy sitting there eating that many buffalo wings. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't want the boneless wings though. I want regular. Me too. In you know bone in. I guess you can. You, you, they figure you can't eat as many um, boneless as you can bone in because you don't eat the. There's not as much meat on a on a wing with a bone in it. I don't know. And they're probably way cheaper. Mm-hmm. But some people only eat boneless wings now. Like Rob, he's he's not a bone in guy <sighs> on chicken in general. Yeah. Yeah, he don't eat meat, but he sure likes the bone. Hey man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I've ever had boneless wings. I don't think I have. Do you know how to uh, strip the wing of the bone? Oh, yeah. To get it clean? No, where you you can only do it with flats. Yeah. You, you stand it up, and then you break the seal on the end of it and flip it over and do the same, and then just pull it off. And, yeah. That's so messy, though, but. I mean, it's just a big hunk of meat. Oh, it's way man. better than eating little drumsticks. Uh huh. Mm. Really succulent is what it is. So succulent, good. Riggins. So good. Mm. Starving. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So that's what I'm supposed to have for dinner tonight. The best. The best wings around in these parts. Um. If I if I get to go to my son's birthday dinner. <laughs> and uh, he has a friend. And uh, she works with him and just can't get over the fact that he's not going to drink tonight on his birthday and and all. And she even just says, I, just order a drink. I want you to just buy a drink. Just order it. Just to say you did. Mm-hmm. And he goes, why? What? I'm not going to drink it. I said, so you, you don't want to order my beer for me just because you can? He goes, that, what would be the purpose of that? If you want me to, I will. But doesn't mean anything to him. No. No. Nerd, it's okay. you yeah. nerd. <laughs> Maybe he's like smoking a ton of weed. Mm. A lot of people are doing that now. No, I don't. I don't think he's doing that because he's always in his room. It's a perfect place to smoke a lot of weed. 
Yeah. Oh, his mama would smell that she out. She probably would. Mm-hmm. That nose. But do you know that uh, my little friend Jenny's handsome husband, Michael, never drank until he was up in like, into his mid-20s or something? Never even, really? Yeah. Until he met her. He never drank. How old is he? 40. Yeah, I, I know they say now that Gen Z and Gen Alpha not really interested in drinking like previous generations were. Mm-hmm. But uh, I've not heard that, that you know, somebody who's an older millennial not drinking until they're in their mid-20s. That's wild. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's just a, he was always one of those, from what I gather, overachievers and made good grades and really smart and all of that. I, mean, I know he's smart. Um but he didn't. He didn't start falling into the bad stuff till he met her. Yeah, Jesus. You know, when it's when he started drinking beer. That relationship would not survive if one of them, if he was not a drinker. <laughs> yeah, if one of them didn't like beer. Yeah, I mean that's like her yeah. own personality. It's like I drink a lot of beer. Yeah, I'm surprised she hasn't gotten her own um, line of of beer. Because I don't know how Anheuser Busch would feel about taking Michelob Ultra and pouring it in a bottle with her name on it, because that'd be about the only—that's the only kind of beer she likes. Yeah, pretty and much. It, she could be one of the first. I mean, there's—it really is a male-dominated kind of mm-hmm. industry, it seems. So, yeah, I'd, and he'll always—I thought he was joking when he used to say that. Like, I didn't even have—I never even drank beer until I met her. Man, now he's. 30 a day. <laughs> 30 a day. <laughs> uh, it's one of those deals where um, when I go to bed on Thursday nights when they've been over there, um, I can hear if they take the trash out in yeah. the kitchen because clink, 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 bottles There clinging. is a sound. Yeah. When you take out a lot of beer bottles or mm-hmm. cans in a trash yeah. bag, you know what's in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jody, Jody got me into some bad stuff, too, that I never did before I met her. Like I don't what? even want to go into it, but, I mean, she's been a, a an albatross around my neck Is she? for almost 30 years now. Blonde-haired albatross. Mm, mm, mm. You don't even want to get me started. Cocaine? Worse. Crack? Worse. I, I just, I, I don't want to get her arrested, so I'm not going to say. Because there's no statute of limitations for the stuff that she's done. Bath, Bad. Bath salts? Bad business. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jason Keltsey has said something that uh, has called out the experts. The experts have had to come out on this, which is so stupid. Yeah. It's so stupid. I think those Kelsey brothers could come out and just burp into the microphone, and the whole country would be talking about it and debating it. Yeah. And it's like they are on that level right now yeah mm-hmm. it won't last forever but right now yeah they are the the go-to guys right and they stoop thank you taylor no i'm kidding so we'll get into that coming up next more of tj's podcast is coming up so our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here, and he has helped us so many times through the years. And when it comes to mortgages, he's going to get you the best deal. That's right. We are the best deal. And if you're under contract to buy a house, you should check us out. I mean, you're not going to. They never do. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're the best deal. But, but feel free. You should. And because we've used him for years for a variety of different things. Whatever you're needing, go to homewithrichard.com to get the process started, and they can take care of you from there. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. Welcome back, world, to TJ's podcast. podcast. So, yeah, this uh, podcast way way more successful and popular than the uh, podcast that those kelsey brothers do what's their podcast called new heights why do they call it that 
That I don't know. They wouldn't call it Kelsey Show or anything like that, you would think? I don't know why they call it that. New I was Heights. not a listener of theirs before. No, I, I've never listened to the podcast other than what the little clips that make the news and all. Yeah, and I'm not listening to it now. No. No interest. Hmm. The New Heights? New Heights. New Heights. New Heights. Maybe that's the neighborhood they grew up in or something. Oh, maybe. Mm-hmm. That's a good guess. Yeah. So they um, they were on their podcast and Jason evidently said that he doesn't wash his feet when he's in the shower. Yeah. So it's, it's things people have talked about a long time. Do you actually get down there and scrub your feet or just let the, the soapy water run down there and clean them? Wash your leg. Do you wash your legs? That's really. Yeah. You wash your legs. You wash your feet. Mm, that's such a toilet seat up or down toilet paper over the top or underneath type of discussion. I don't mean to be shitting all over them, but I mean, it's, but a lot of people haven't heard that young people may not have, yeah. have been part of that debate forever about, about that sort of thing. So he said that he doesn't, he lets the soap run down there, I guess. Yeah. He says uh, it's a lot of lies from big soap and mm-hmm. it's not really necessary. And Yeah. So they go out and get an expert, TMZ does. And, and this is the thing. This is a, a characteristic of our culture now. Because of so many news organizations and so many places to get news and to keep the news cycle going, and each person who's, who's publishing some sort of a story on social media or in print or wherever, having to have an angle that wants you, gets you to listen or read their story over everybody else that's talking about it. They go get an expert. And nine times out of 10, you don't have to be an expert yeah. to, for this information. That is true. Like I saw a thing today that said five things that an emergency room nurse would not let her kids do. And it's this whole big thing. And it was uh, things like uh, swim alone. Oh. Hold on. I mean... We got time. Let me get to that. Play with a bull. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, there is a bigger point here. Um, five things a nurse says she'd never let her kids do. Go to a sleepover unless she knows every single person there. Okay. We need a nurse for that to tell us that? No. Ride in the car without a seat belt, even for a few minutes. Oh, my God. I was going to let the children do that until... A nurse told me not to. Okay. Uh, We said the one about go swimming alone. Use explosive fireworks. Oh, gosh. Sit on a riding mower. No riding on dad's lap. That's a shame. (laughs) Well, the nurse would know. Yeah. Now, I get it. That a nurse has probably seen firsthand these types of accidents and all that. But does it, a nurse does not need to tell us <laughs> that you don't let the kids ride without a seatbelt. Yeah. So the experts have had to weigh in on Jason Kelsey's thing. And... um. Who is this? Uh, she's the CEO of the CEO of an organic soap company, <laughs> right? Um, and she looks like what a CEO of an organic soap company would look like. This looks like a, a an old retired communist professor, yeah. the long stringy hair and if makeup, very little, just that look, which is fine if that's what you're into. And I'm just trying to paint the picture. So here's what she said. First of all, it's not only dirt that you're removing from your feet, but also bacteria. <gasps> what? I would have never known that. I didn't know that about it, soap. Yeah. In fact, the any floor in any house at any time can have over 764 bacteria per square inch. And so that's kind of gross in itself. But, you know... Uh, fungus that's where athletes come, foot comes from it's- what athletes foot comes from fungus whoa 
And it's a good thing she's telling uh, these two highly decorated professional athletes that that's where athlete's foot comes from is fungus. You don't wash your feet properly, dry them properly. Uh, it's um, And it's very rare, but that fungus can actually inf infiltrate your bloodstream, which can actually lead to death. Now, that's rare, <laughs> but it can happen. <laughs> and so, um, He's especially die. for an athlete, it's, it's kind of odd that, you know, I hope he was just kidding. <laughs> but it's, yeah. And, you know, good soap, it's really hard to come by because oh. actually there's only about 42 soap makers left in the U.S., Everything you get at your stores and health food store is not a soap. It's a either it's called a beauty bar, um, and mm. it's either a melt and pour or a base. But true soap not only cleans but it actually moisturizes and hydrates your skin. Yeah. And some soap companies, such as Sweet Harvest Farms, we actually formulate and produce a soap that combats fungus. And no. you know, so finding something like that is is key. I mean, for the health of your skin. Okay, so my point is this retired football player who has a huge podcast is talking to his brother who is a current football player in the NFL. And he says, I don't wash my feet. I let the soap run down there. It's big soap. It's a lie, whatever. They have to go get an expert to go on this whole diatribe about whether or not he should be washing his feet. Yeah, and she's gonna take it because she's like, hell yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna get TNT a commercial. I'm gonna yeah. plug my soap brand. But when society now has to be told by a quote unquote expert about everything, then people are just walking around and say, I don't know, I don't know, should I do this, should I not do that? Is that bad for you? And that's how you end up not knowing what to do in life without having somebody else that you think knows more about it than you do tell you what to do. Yeah, People yeah. are scared to make the wrong decision because uh, they don't trust themselves to make the decision. More and more, it's just like, what am I supposed to do? You get in, you know, chat boxes and whatever else <laughs> oh they put it up there you know the the q and a's on reddit and hey does anybody know where f athlete's foot comes from i think i may have it fungus. <laughs> i'm dying to know how much this soap costs that she's selling that's very safe and good for your skin look it up it's 14 dollars a bar <laughs> bit of a racket I oh, God. now it's handmade yeah so mm -hmm. this one smells like almond cake <laughs> yeah you know, start start handing those out to the nfl players you want to smell like almond cake mm. oh this one is espresso yourself <laughs> exfoliating organic handmade coffee soap oh god says so the ben and jerry's of soap it may be <sighs> 16 dollars is a little steep for a bar of soap yeah all of those uh specialty soaps like that, like the the ones that they have, I don't know what's it called, Duke Cannons and yeah. those types of, of you know what is it, Squat, Mister Squatch or Doctor Squash or whatever. they're expensive. Yeah. What kind of soap do you use, Regan? Dial, mm -hmm. regular cheap dial. Oh man, and that's some know. strong stuff. And nothing living out of a dial. Please, it's antibacterial. So, Ugh. and the, and the doc, and I know dermatologists say don't use it because it strips your skin of its natural oils. I'm like, mm -hmm. that's the point. I'm let me let me decide yeah. which oil I want to take off my damn face. <sighs> so yeah, I use the dial, oil. safeguard, all of those. Those are like that's the real deal. Mine's a, a, the gold bar, <laughs> so it smells like hand soap. But I scrub my face with it, and yeah, my skin is dry afterwards. But you can put some lotion on you, fine. Yeah. See, they tell me because my skin is so oily that I don't need to wear to use a soap that's going to dry it out like that right. because then it overproduces, then overproduces yeah. and whatnot. I'm like, okay, well, just for a science experiment, yeah. I need to see what that would be like because I use Dove unscented sensitive. Yeah, which is a beauty bar, which is what she was saying. Yeah, and uh, that's what the dermatologist 
than the doctors told me to use. And my skin is still so oily. Yeah. It's crazy. So I would hate to see if I used a, a soap that made it even more oily. Yeah, it's crazy. Hmm. But, I mean, I wouldn't even need to go to a doctor. I mean, I didn't even ask the doctor that. They just said, you know, I mentioned something about, yeah, I have really oily skin or whatever. And then they say, will you try this? This was years ago. Okay, I'll try it. Because mm-hmm. I used to use ivory. Ivory, yeah. They still make that. Yeah. And I love the way that smells. But they said that's not good for oily skin. Because they want you coming back there. They want mm-hmm. you to come up with some acne and like, oh, we got something for that too. <laughs> they don't want you to self-heal. Right. And this lady does. She does. And she also wants to sell $14 bars of soap. Man. But, you know, that's probably not that much for a woman to be spending on a on an item. Yeah, maybe for not. For a cosmetic Maybe not. Thing. Witches Brew tea-infused organic soap. Witches Brew? I mean, what does that tell me about <laughs> anything? What am I supposed to learn from a Witches Brew organic soap? What are you talking about? It's got leg of a fig, uh, eye of newt in it. I mean, come on. <laughs> Yeah, this is an old hippie lady just sitting around. Yeah, that's, I want to take uh, advice about being clean from an old hippie. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Those things do not work well together. All right. Thank you. But no, thank you. Yeah, you stink. You smell like <laughs> an armpit, lady. <laughs> now, if I want some advice on uh, how to drop acid, then I'll call a hippie. Yeah, right. Not saying this woman is on the acid, but I'm saying that's that's <laughs> where the hippies are the experts. If you wanted to start a coven or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and listening and doing all you. Thanks for doing, basically, just doing. Love you, bye. Serving the world. It's TJ's podcast.